Use your common sense. This is actually a statement told to someone when common sense is not common to them. According to biology, senses are how our body perceives external stimulus. And generally, we have five senses. These are sight, smell, touch, taste, and sauna or sound. These five senses, they are the ones the body of biology actually acknowledge because as we know, our science is mostly mechanistic. But I'm going to add in one more sense and I'm going to call it thought. And this now adds in the senses to become six. So from the definition of senses, we have to underline the term perception because perception refers to our judgment with regard to the interpretation of the stimulus that our body has received. So that is perception. To understand perception better, we will have to look at this image. So two people are standing on a figure six or a figure nine. One is standing at the bottom, the other one is standing at the top. So these two people will actually argue because of their point of perception or their perspectives. One of them is seeing a number six, the other one is seeing a number nine. There's also this other image. One of them is seeing four of particular, let's call them logs or sticks, and the other one is seeing three. So perception now becomes subjective, but perception can also be objective when you do not take a particular point of view and you just consume the stimulus from your environment in order to gain a particular inference. So according to living organisms, we have characteristics, particular characteristics. And of these characteristics, what our senses mostly depend on is the characteristic of sensitivity. So whenever our senses are not sensitive, this is going also to interfere with the other characteristics which are actually our needs that we need to survive in the environment that we exist in. Over the years, it has been seen that the generation that we are in is actually overindulging in the senses. You know what I mean. Most people nowadays are mostly on their phones looking at very different things so they are interfering with their sight in terms of you cannot continuously look with your eyes at some point you have to blink and at some point you have to go to bed and sleep you cannot continuously breathe or breathe in at some point you have to breathe out you cannot continuously put things on your mouth to test them. At some point, you have to swallow. So there's this dynamic that things have to, to follow. Like It's like a wave going up and down. But we realize these days what we do, we mostly like to ride the wave going up and up and up. So this is the overindulgence. And if we overindulge in in things, it shows that our judgment of the interpretation of our environment, this is not the perception, will be intrigued or interfered with. To actually maintain sensitivity in your body, one, observe the biological clock of the body. This is the suprachiasmatic nucleus. It helps the pineal by telling it when and when not to uh, secrete melatonin in the body. And melatonin actually helps you sleep well and have a peaceful night sleep such that when you wake up in the morning, you're feeling refreshed and you've, you've had your REM sleep and now you can wake up with a very fresh brain. Another thing, uh, the Buddhist, the Buddha, taught taught about uh, meditation. 
and the best meditation you can do to keep your senses sensitive or your mind sensitive is the kind of meditation where you are you are seated observing your breath uh, observing your what they call chakras i will call them plexuses or plexus which are also in the body and focus also on the thoughts that come to your mind do not try to follow a particular thought and do not try to restrict a particular thought just acknowledge the thought and maintain focus on you breathing and remaining back to the i am or to you yourself another thing if you are not ready to quit smoking you can actually try the wim hof breathing technique this will actually help clear your trachea most of the time and you're going to at least enjoy and whatever I'm else I'm going to say is for you to maintain very accurate sensitivity just abstain from things that are not good for your body these are things like excess sugar smoking alcohol uh what else is not good for your body uh electromagnetic waves uh-huh uh-huh yeah this brings me back to the idea that it is actually uh the faculty of the thought someone is referring to when they are telling you use your common sense so from today use your common sense make sure you are going to keep your senses at a very sensitive level so that you can make uh, great decisions uh, with regard to your future with regard to the longevity of your life because if you don't you are going to bring us the scientific community more money and that is not our problem we are just going to give you information and heal you because of your ignorance so stop being ignorant take up your mantle of the sixth thought or the sixth sense which is the thought and mind your own business yes i've said it and the video ends there <laughs>